Let's show another case of forensic investigation. In partic this particular case, we, we, it's triggered by, uh, by an offense, uh, this potential brute force over log internet and over uh, telnet. And we're going to show that we record everything, even the content of telnet sessions. So what we want to do is start looking at the uh, relationships on, uh, on uh, the destination IP. So we right click on it and run a forensic recovery as we've done before. In this particular case, uh, we're going to call uh, the investigation telnet and uh, the collection we are going to call it uh, brute force pickup. Pickup. And we click OK. As we have done before, we go to the Forensic tab and click on the triangle to see the query. The data has been pulled from the devices, it's going to be indexed, and the pretty soon we're going to have a successful result here. Data has been indexed, and we got a success here. So we can click on the magnifying glass and begin the actual investigation. So these are all the... Uh, the, the results of that particular investigation, but we can actually, uh, as we've done before, we can go in here and add more uh, uh, context to filter the results on the search. All the, the stuff related to that particular IP address, which is what our search has re recalled, we, we are interested in incorrect logins only. So we click search, and these are all those communication for the IP address uh, related to the incorrect logins. So let's click for example on this one, login incorrect login. So let's click on uh, this particular one and we see you know a lot of uh, uh, attempts to do uh, some uh, uh, brute force on, on a login. We can actually make the, the search even more sophisticated and we can actually put suspect uh, content colon asterisk to see if there is something uh, suspicious out of those uh, telnet uh, sessions and sure enough we find a couple of those let's look for example at this one telnet application data that actually been transferred so we click in here and we see, you know, root, password, it was actually trying to log in, admin, root, look at that, guest, well, he succeeded there, and he's uh, looking at files, he's looking, you know, showing stuff on the screen, looking, my SQL, look at that, you know, he's going to be launching some SQL queries here, so this, that's what it looks like. If we keep scrolling, we see all the stuff that the, the, the person actually did in there. Yeah, there's some <laughs> stuff going on. So uh, look at that. Uh, this is a list of, and if we recognize this, these are the list of our contact of our new company. These are our customers. So somebody is actually stealing our database of, uh, of actual customers. So you, you can perform these, these searches with that ease. Again, no need to have a data scientist to run forensic in your environment.